Now, investigators are still trying to figure out what started a fire that burned at McGuanago House. A teenager living in the home smelled smoke and got everybody out safely. Yona Gavino caught up with all of them in Greendale, where they are now staying with family. Mary Fenner lived in that house for 22 years. She raised her children there, and it's the only home they've ever known. But now it's gone, and all that are left are precious memories. It's all material stuff. God is with us. It's going to be all right. This massive blaze forced Mary Fenner and her two sons from their beloved home in the middle of the night. Wow. <laughs> there she pulls. Everything they have, gone. The boys ran out in just their underwear. Mary was able to grab her cell phone. All she could do was snap this video and watch as her house burned down. And it was huge. And then you heard the windows all cracking and the guns, the ammo going off in the house. And then more and more in the, the windows bursting and, and popping. Mary tells me her son saved the day. He woke everyone up. The dog ran right out of the house and the chinchilla they described out of the cage. It was right there. Nearby, an orange and red glow of lights from emergency vehicles. Firefighters tried to save the home. The chief tells me it was destroyed. When you look at a place that you've lived for 22 years and loved so much, go up in smoke and you know, it really brings you back down to home of what's important in your life and it's not that. She called her older sister Sandy to tell her she made it out. Sandy drove from Greendale to McGuanago, still gripped with fear until she finally saw them. You know, they're okay, they're okay. And then when I got there and I saw that, I just like fell apart. I just like started crying because it was just so real. Today, the family is starting from scratch. They'll be shopping for a few things to get them through the next couple of days. Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. Thanks, Shiona. They have set up a fund for the family. You can donate if you wish at any Johnson Bank under the Mary Fenner Fund.